Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to explain how you work out certain costs when you're only given a small amount of information. So what do you do if you only have figures for output, total fixed costs and average total costs, for example? How would you work out your total costs, total variable costs, average fixed costs and average variable costs? And also I'm going to give another situation where you know your output and your total costs, how would you then work out your marginal costs? So to begin with, let's see how do we find out the total costs. Now we know that to do total costs, this is your total fixed costs plus your total variable costs. And in this situation, we know our total fixed costs, so we have this figure. However, we don't have our total variable costs. So what else can you do? Well, we also know that if you have your average total cost, we know that your average of anything is the total, so the total costs, divided by the output. So if you ever have an average, it's equal to your total divided by your output. And we can then use this formula to work out our total costs because we know these little triangles that you can use, this times this equals the one at the top. And if you want this one, average total cost is total cost divided by output. And equally, you could do output is equal to total cost divided by average total cost. So in this situation, we can find out our total cost by doing our average total cost, which is 60, multiplied by our output, 5. And that will give us 300. For the next one, our average total cost is 65, multiplied by the output, 6, gives us 390. And then the last one, our average total cost is 63, multiplied by our output, 7, gives us 441. So then let's go on to total variable cost. So with total variable cost, we could use triangles like this. So we know that our total variable cost is equal to our average variable cost times our output. However, we also know that our total variable cost is going to be our total cost take away our total fixed cost. And we can actually use this information here. We can't use this at the moment because we don't know our average variable cost. We haven't worked that out yet. But we can use this formula. So if we look at this, we know our total costs. For, for the first one, our total cost is 300. And if we take away our total fixed cost, 200, that gives us 100. For the next one, our total cost is 390. And if we take away our total fixed cost, it's 200. And that gives us 190. For the third one, our total cost is 441. And our total fixed cost is 200. So that gives us 241. Then we can work out our average fixed cost. So as we were saying before, if you want any average, you do your total of that cost divided by your output. So therefore, if you want to work out your average fixed cost, you need to do your total fixed cost divided by your output. And we know now what our total fixed costs are from the very beginning. We knew that over here. So that's 200 divided by our output, which is 5, and that equals 40. For the next one, our total fixed cost again are 200 divided by our output, which is 6, that gives us 33.33 recurring. Remember in economics, we do things generally to two decimal places. The third one, our total fixed costs, we know that they're still 200, 
because they never change regardless of your level of output. So it's 200 divided by the output of 7 and that gives us 28.57. The final one is another average, average variable cost. So for this one again you need your total, total variable cost, divided by your output and that's going to give you your average variable cost. So for the first one here the total variable cost, we've got that in this column, that's 100 divided by our output of 5, and that gives us 20. The next one, the total variable cost here is 190 divided by the output of 6 equals 31.66 recurring. And the last one, total variable cost, is 241 divided by the output of 7, that gives us 34.43. So this is how to work out these four. And now I'm going to use some different numbers to show you how to work out the marginal cost. So the marginal cost, remember, that's the additional cost of making an extra amount of units. And the formula for marginal cost is the change of total cost divided by the change in output. And be careful, this is just the change. It's not a percentage change. It's just a simple change. So for this first one, we need to find out our change in our total costs. However, we don't know what the total costs used to be. So we can't work this one out. However, let's do the next one. So for this one, when we decide to make the third unit of output, our total costs go up from 10 to 12. So they've gone up by 2. So our change in total costs are 2. Our change in output from 2 to 3 is 1. And that equals 2 divided by 1 is 2. So that's the marginal cost of making the third unit of output. If you decide to make the fourth unit of output, our change in total cost is going from 12 to 18. So this is 6, and the change in output is just 1, so divide it by 1, and this is 6. If you decide to make the fifth unit of output, the marginal cost of making this fifth unit, you need to find out the change in total cost, so that's 10, divided by your change in output, that's just 1, and that equals 10. So in each case, it's, this is the marginal cost of making the third unit. It's 2. The marginal cost of making the fourth unit is 6. And the marginal cost of making the fifth unit is 10. If you wanted to do a slightly more complicated one, imagine that we go from 3 to 5 units. If we do that, our change in total cost is from 12 to 28. So that will be 16 divided by the change in output, which is 2, and that is 8. So 8 is the marginal cost of going to 3 to 5 units, the marginal cost per unit between these two units. So this is how you can work out all five of these costs when you are only given a small amount of information at the beginning.